Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients. So this equation is nothing but y double dash minus 3y dash plus 2 y equal to 6 e power 3x. Now the auxiliary equation is m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. On factorizing this, we get m minus 1 into m minus 2 equal to 0. So we get two values for m. One is 1, other is 2. Using this, we can write the complementary function. These are two different real values. So c1 e power m1x, so which is 1x plus c2 e power m2x which is 2x. Now the solution set S consists of solution set S consists of e power x and e power 2x. But the right hand side of this equation is having e power 3x. So e power 3x is not a part of the solution set S. Yes. Therefore, let's assume the particular integral as e power 3x with some unknown coefficient. Now, let's find its derivative which is c e power 3x into 3. Then again, its second derivative which is c e power 3x into 3 and one more 3. So 3 square. So this is 3c e power 3x and this is 9c e power 3x. Let's substitute all this thing in 1. So substituting in 1. Here we have y double dash. So for that we have to substitute this second derivative that is 9c e power 3x. Then the second term is minus 3y dash. So here minus 3 into y dash is 3c e power 3x. Then the last term is plus 2y. So we have to put plus 2 for y we have to put c e power 3x and on the other side of the equation we have 6 e power 3x. So when I simplify this the first term as it is 9 c e power 3x second term once again minus 9 c e power 3x plus 2 c e power 3x equal to 6 e power 3x. So here we can cancel 9c e power 3x minus 9c e power 3x and totally from this we can cancel e power 3x then the remaining 2c equal to 6. From this the value of c is 3. Out of finding 3 we can substitute here that is particular integral is c e power 3x therefore we get the particular integral equal to 3e power 3x. After that the complete solution y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. So y equal to c1 we have e power x plus c2 e power 2x. c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus 3e power 3x. So we got the complete solution.